All right, on the bench today, we have our uh, Sonoran Desert Institute Fastener Repair Lab, okay? Um, and we're gonna be drilling a hole, threading it, putting in a fastener, breaking it off, and showing how to extract it. Uh, pay no attention to my little practice run here. All right, the first step we always wanna do if we're going to be drilling a hole in something fresh, um, you would, you know, normally use like some blue dicum if you were a machinist or something like that, but I don't have any, I have a Sharpie and that works just fine. Um, we will use our calipers. I've already got those set exactly to one inch. Just an arbitrary number I picked for lining this out. Uh, so you make your one inch and then you put the uh, edge of the, one, one end of the calipers onto hopefully what is a uh, nice square machined edge. And you can see where they cross. That intersect point is our one inch by one inch uh, setback. Now, we're gonna use our center punch. All right, and that's gonna start. It's gonna give us a little indentation so that our drill bit doesn't go walking around on us. Okay, so get that on your uh, intersect point. Give it a good tap. This is aluminum, so it doesn't take a whole lot. You get that going. Next step, we're gonna use our, oh, what are we calling this guy? Uh, center drill bit. I never used, never used one of these. I've always just started with a smaller bit and worked my way up, but you can see what we're dealing with here. You're just gonna drill until it gets up to the shoulder. And again, it just gives you a more uh, secure place to start your drill. From. sure that drill probably doesn't sound great over the microphone sorry about that I'm not a pro youtuber just a guy trying to be a gunsmith okay next step we have our um, 564 inch drill okay I'm not gonna drill all the way through I'm just gonna drill you know whatever about halfway Okay, from there, we're going to grab our tap. This is a 648 tap. Um, I've got it in my tap wrench, and we just start threading that in there, and just about every turn to turn and a half, you're gonna rotate it back to break the chip off, okay? So it doesn't bunch up in there. You are cutting threads into the sides of the hole that you just drilled in this aluminum. And aluminum taps fairly easily. Uh, obviously the harder the steel is, the harder it's gonna be to tap. Uh, there are some tap drills that cut the hole and thread it as it goes. I've never used them personally. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of machining. I've done some bolt extraction from vehicles, things like that. <sighs> that wasn't exactly as precise as gunsmithing work goes. Uh, if you do break off a fastener or someone brings in a fastener, it's probably more like uh, that has been broken off in an action or something like that. You're going to need to know how to extract that thing. And if you can hopefully do it without... Uh, messing the threads up that's great but if they if they do get jacked up you're gonna have to know how to re-thread and all that so um, for whatever reason this tap wrench and the one that SDI sent neither one of them will tighten down all far enough to get this uh, 6x48 um, tap and hold it very secure. It'll do it while you're tapping in, but when you're backing out, it won't. So, you know, our trusty vice grips to the rescue. Be very careful. Don't waller out this hole as you're, you know what I mean? As you're extracting this thing. Okay, so now that we've got that threaded, um, another thing that the, that the lab guide says to do is to use the, uh, is to chamfer this 
um, using a countersink. There was no countersink included and I don't have one. So we're gonna simulate that with this Phillips bit. This is not the right way to do this, but because it's aluminum and it's super soft, that works. All right, you get the idea. Uh, the next step, we're gonna check this thing. Make sure that our screw here can actually thread into the threads that we just cut. This is a six by uh, 648 Filster head screw. All right, we're gonna screw that down until it bottoms out. I'm sorry for the view, guys. This is not the best angle for this. When I do my um, actual gunsmithing videos, I do them from overhead like this. All right, we're down in there, nice and secure, okay? And we will simulate breaking that fastener off. I guess I could just whack it with a hammer, but I'm gonna cut it with this uh, Dremel tool. All right, many a nice firearm has fell victim to the gun, uh, the kitchen counter gunsmith with the drill, uh, with the Dremel tool, right? So now, how do we get this out? Well, because this uh, Dremel tool doesn't cut flush, it's got the little arbor deal that holds it on there. You might be able, in some instances, to get, like I could get these, I can get a grip on, on here with my needle nose. Uh, maybe if I use the vice grips, I could really grab it. But for the sake of the lab, um, we're gonna go back to our center punch. All right, and what we're gonna do is drill and use our, uh, we always called them easy outs, but I guess that's a brand. Um, this is a screw extractor. And we're gonna use that method to get it out. So once again, this really matters. You gotta be in the center because if you, uh, if you start your hole off center on this screw and you start drilling into that thing, you can get into the uh, work piece real quick and tear up your threads. The whole point of this is try and save the threads on the, on the, uh, on the part here. All right, let's give it another one. That's way harder than that aluminum, huh? Okay. All right, and again, I'm gonna use my centering bit, this little guy. These are handy. You can't see what's going on. Now we're gonna get our number 31 jobber. Drill as far in there as we can. Okay, now, now that we're in there, we can try to get our spiral extractor down in there. I like to get it in and give it just, okay. Hardly a tap. I can feel that every time I tap it, spinning in just a little more and a little more. These are a uh, reverse thread, okay? So as we're, as we're, uh, loosening it's digging in harder into that screw and backing the screw out simultaneously right so we'll go back to our uh back to our um, thread wrench here tap wrench sorry cinch that down And for whatever reason, these things just won't go tight enough. So here we go. 
the old crescent wrench to the rescue, huh? Well, looky there. We got it loose, and as soon as it breaks free, I'd go to my fingers. You can even use this pliers here to get a little more finesse. And out it came. Let's see if I can get that in focus. There you go, there's our broken fastener. And just to make sure, we'll go ahead and put this good fastener without dropping it. All right, make sure we can get it in there and that we didn't tear the threads up taking it out. There we go. Fastener lab complete. Thank you very much.